birds are amazing singers because they have two voice boxes, but you only have one. Only one? <laughs> There's no need to be too smug, Helga. Humans can, in fact, make noises without using our voice boxes at all. Show off. You can have a go at this too. First, place your hand on the front of your neck and try singing a low note. La. You'll feel vibrations coming from your vocal cords. Now keep your hand where it is and try whistling. I can't feel any vibrations at all. Exactly, and that's because your vocal cords have nothing to do with being able to make those sounds. What are you doing? Don't distract me, Chris. I'm about to break the world record for standing on one leg. What? What's the record? 76 hours, 48 minutes. Wow, and how long have you been going for? About 18 seconds. Whoa! Right. Well, it's great that you're giving it a go, Zand, but since the average time that most people can stand on one leg is 30 seconds, I think you're going to need a bit more practice. You're really going to have to work on your sense mm. of proprioception. It's your body's ability to sense where your muscles and limbs are. Let's demonstrate. Now, when he stands on one leg, Zand's body becomes unbalanced and he starts to fall to one side. Now, to counter this, his brain activates the muscles on the opposite side of his body and moving his body back to an upper right balanced position. Right, now keep standing on one leg, but this time close your eyes. <laughs> Balancing with your eyes closed is extremely difficult. It's because your eyes give your brain visual clues about your body's position. But as well as your eyes and your sense of proprioception, your brain uses one other thing to keep you balanced, your vestibular system. It's part of your inner ear and it sends constant information about the position of your head to your brain. <laughs> Feeling squeamish is a basic and important emotion. There are some things that turn almost everyone's tummies. Maggots, dog poo, dried sick on a pavement, a bogey smeared on the edge of a sink. But did you know that this is something that you learn and it develops as you get older? Babies, for example, aren't squeamish at all. Well, to put this idea to the test, we're going to need a baby. Give me one moment, Chris. Here you go, Chris. One baby. Sand, this is my baby. This is Lyra, your niece. Whatever. And we're going to need some of the most disgusting things we can think of. First up, worms. <laughs> Here you go. Here's Ooh. some yummy worms. What do you think of that? Look at that. This is not a baby that's disgusted by a worm, is it? Fair enough. Next up, maggots. What this is it really that? disgusting. Look at the move. Yeah, she's got one in her hand. I mean, that is not a disgusted baby, is it? Ouch. 